Hey guys, welcome back. We are here at Universal Studios in Orlando and in today's video, we are going to talk about something that you know that we love and that's the Coke Freestyle Cup. We're gonna go over everything that you need to know about it, where to buy them, how to refill them, anything that is necessary for it, we're gonna cover. Stay tuned. If you're new here, on this channel we talk about all things theme parks, including updates, news, and tips and tricks for your next theme park vacation. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Universal offers a few different kinds of the Coca-Cola Freestyle Cups. The first one is more like a Tervis tumbler, yeah, a tumbler. like we've yeah. showed in some of our videos in the past. And the second kind is kind of a more generic plastic kind. It's got like a handle or whatever. We'll show those here in a little bit. So we're always looking for an excuse to purchase a new Coca-Cola Freestyle yeah, Cup. Yes, so we just conveniently always forget our cups at home. <laughs> It's just a way to add to the collection. And one of the easiest places and what we think is the best place to buy the cup is the Universal Store, which is located just inside the, the gates at both Islands of Adventure and Studios. We went ahead and purchased our Freestyle Cup at the little cafe outside of Monsters Cafe. Yeah, the little kiosk. So we went ahead and bought this kind of clear looking one. Yeah, we it's the second type, it's the non-tumbler type that we were talking about. Mm -hmm. um, we've actually never purchased one of those before, nope. so we thought we would do, I guess, research <laughs> by purchasing this one. We, we just don't know the quality, we don't know anything about them. But something pretty neat about this Freestyle Cup yep. is it's made more for families because the more of these that you purchase, mm -hmm. the cheaper they are, so yep. you get a discount uh, as you go up in numbers of cups that you buy. This lid also comes with a nice like little closure yeah, that the it, tumblers don't. Yeah, it looks like it's a little bit maybe more secure than the tumblers. Yeah. Although we are admittedly big fans of the tumbler style cups. Yeah. Uh, we're interested to see how this works if this like holds liquid better because with the tumblers every once in a while you get a little spillage on your backpack or whatever so we're we're kind of interested to see how this works. Absolutely. So we're going to head towards London and go ahead and fill this up at one of the freestyle machines. So we've made it over here to the San Francisco area and this is the location of probably our favorite Coke freestyle machine. It's the one that we use the most and that's because it's just not that busy. It's right outside of the San Francisco Pastry Company. Yep. Uh, it just never seems to be a line like that you have to wait for. And then there's some around the parks that get really busy. Yeah, this is also one of those that doesn't seem to run out of our favorite yeah, drinks. Yeah, and like, it's probably because it's one of the least busy machines yeah, in the park. Some of the ones like <laughs> where we were talking about earlier, like up there near Monsters Cafe, oh. uh, by midday, a lot of times, a lot of the drink options are just gone. Yeah. And, or, you're, and or, you're stuck with like, Coke. Or they're out of ice, which is really frustrating. Yeah. So we we tend to try to find some of the more secluded ones. This one really isn't that secluded. It's right here in the open, but I guess it just sort of gets overlooked. People are excited to get to Diagon Alley. Speaking of options, that is one of the great things about the Coke Freestyle Cup. Yeah. They have, I'm not going to say countless because there's probably a definite number, <laughs> uh, but there are a lot of options on it. You can get anything from like vitamin water, Powerade, Powerade Zero, there's tea. Uh, something that people often forget about is you can get water. So it yeah. makes it a great money saving opportunity. Like instead of buying just 15 bottles of water when it's hot like it is today, as yes. you can probably tell, <laughs> you can just buy one of these and have water all day. Yeah, so these cups aren't just for people that like soda. Yeah. They have a lot of different options. And something to keep in mind for hot days like today, if you take your freestyle cup to one of the little outdoor carts. Like kiosk, you, yeah. You can get slushy yeah, in your cup. Yeah, you can get you a slushy, a little icy in there, which always hits the spot when it is hot. So we went ahead and filled the cup up. Uh, we may have been drinking on it already, yeah. but we wanted to test this cup out. That is one of the reasons we bought it because like we said earlier, the tumbler will spill. Yeah. So why don't we go ahead and turn that upside down? Don't do it on my watch shirt. Not Nothing bad. came out. So this is actually an option. I probably don't trust it enough to put it in the camera bag, but right. you could put it in a locker 
and probably not worry too much about it. Don't put it in the locker. Go ahead and pour it out. But <laughs> we're just saying you could, hypothetically, but pour it out. You don't want to make a mess. If you purchase the more plain plastic cup, yeah. it's going to cost you $16.99 plus tax, of course. Yeah. And that actually does include the refill. Yes, it does. And the more tumbler-like cup is going to cost you $26.99. Now, also includes the refill. Of course. Now, if you would like to reuse this cup on the following days of your trip, you can do that, but you do have to purchase refills for the following day. Yeah, we have a lot of people who think, I guess that once you buy the cup, it's just like good for refills and you don't have to purchase like uh, additional refills for it. but when you go up to the machine, it actually tells you what time mm -hmm. that night or that evening that your cup will stop working and that you will need to purchase another day of refills. Exactly. So to purchase that extra day of refills, all you have to do is take it up to one of the yep, little food stands or kiosk and they have this little black disc that yeah. you set it on that reactivates the chip and the bottom of it and that will cost you $10 to reactivate it for an extra day. And while the cups do say they are unlimited, eh, that's debatable. <laughs> there is a time limit on it. Right. And it's for good reason. I'm sure it's to keep people from purchasing only one cup and refilling it, like multiple cups or cups they brought in from home, yep. whatever. There's reasons for it. But so if you are, the reason we bring it up is if you are going to get something to drink mm -hmm. and you accidentally get, I don't know, say you're wanting orange Powerade and you get red Powerade and then you decide to pull it off and then like reset it, it's not gonna work. You right. are gonna have to wait the full, we believe it's 10 minutes. Yeah. We'll check on that. But yeah, like I think it's 10 minutes. It used to be five, mm -hmm. now it's 10. And so you just gotta be careful that you don't accidentally like pull the cup up. I mean, if you can pull it up a little bit and it won't reset, but if you pull the cup like completely off the freestyle machine, yeah. It is going to trigger that to not give you a drink and you're going to have to wait that 10 minutes. But if you do accidentally do that, you can take your cup yeah. to one of the little food stands, yeah. the kiosk with the people at them, and they will refill your cup for you without waiting that 10 minutes. A little side note and something that we probably should have mentioned is when you get the refill, you will be given a receipt like with any purchase in the parks. This is the one receipt that we suggest you keep yes. because Sometimes the machines go down and you need proof that your cup has been activated. Yep. And the only way to provide that proof is if you have that receipt. So that is one receipt that we always fold up and put in like a safekeeping's pocket, something like that on our backpack. Another reason that we have just fallen more in love with these yeah. freestyle cups is that they have added a Coca-Cola freestyle machine in City Walk. Yeah, it didn't used to be like that. No. Um, you would leave the parks, say the parks closed at like seven, mm -hmm. and you'd be in City Walk till like 11 or 12 o'clock and you'd be thirsty because it's still hot at night. I mean, you yeah. can tell how hot it is right now. The only difference is there's no sun. It's still <laughs> just as hot at night. Um, but yeah, so the freestyle machine in City Walk is a big plus now. Absolutely. The parks usually close somewhere between like 6 and 10 yeah. p.m. But City Walk is usually open till midnight or later. Yeah. So having those extra hours of those refills for that same $10 just makes it so much better of a deal. Yeah, it makes it way more worth it. Speaking of worth it, Awesome segue, right? No, but seriously, we hear so many people talk about, oh, we are just water drinkers and they only purchase bottles of water. We just went and checked. And at most places, a bottle of water is gonna run you $5 a piece. Yeah. Like we said earlier, you can get this cup for $16.99. Now, I think where the confusion comes in is, I don't think they offer water from the freestyle machines at this time like anymore yeah. hey guys it's me from the future sort of i'm actually record whatever um so this video was recorded the very first day in the parks like we say we always get a freestyle cup when we first get into the parks like we had gotten to the hotel walked to the parks and this is our first video that we did and what we later learned is that most of the freestyle machines still have water as an option. It just so happened that the first two that we stopped at, this they didn't, and then we recorded this thinking that maybe they had done away with the water. So we're just big dum-dums, like we, we just messed 
up and we want to bring you the most accurate information possible so i wanted to put this in there and just say hey you can get water at the majority of them as far as we are concerned based on our last trip but yeah, we really appreciate all the support we've been getting. If you could give this video a thumbs up, it really helps the channel. But back to your regularly scheduled program. Bye. Yes, so they used to offer yes. water from like the freestyle machines. Not too long ago. For some reason, they have since taken that off the menu, but you can still get your freestyle cup filled yep. up with water. All you have to do is take it to one of the food or drink kiosks that are around yep. the park and ask the person working the kiosk to fill your cup up with water, and they'll be happy to help you with that. But like we were saying, as far as the value, at $5 a bottle, for the cup that we bought, it's gonna save you money if you just buy four bottles of water. Yeah. Uh, and on a day like today, that is probably not going to be enough. So we are extremely excited about having this cup. Um, the tumbler, of course, a little bit more expensive, right? but still it would save you money over the course of the day, I am 100% certain of that because we drink a lot of fluids while we're here. Yes, we've already drank three of our freestyle cups. I think and, we drank four of them at this point. And the day has just gotten started. It is so hot and staying hydrated is mm -hmm. so, so important. And that's why we are such big advocates for the freestyle cups. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video. Leave us a comment in the comment section and let us know if you use the Coke Freestyle Cup and if you think it has saved you money. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. You can hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so you get an alert every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching.